this has got to be pretty cool. Like this is pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's suiting. But it's cool. It's cool as shit. Yeah. yeah. Why do you say that? Why is it suiting? Yeah. The entrance I made, I think, merits this this position entirely. The only thing I'm upset about is that I'm not on that fucking poster. But <laughs> otherwise, you know, I, I feel entirely credited to be here. I came in and did an act that's going to be completely unprecedented in the UFC. And, um, you know, I'm just going to continue to validate my position here and, and silence the naysayers. But uh, I'm not out of place in, this, in, in sitting in this chair and being in this room and being in this media day or being on this main card by any stretch of the imagination. Would you have been upset if you hadn't been part of this? No, I'm not. I'm not greedy about it, or I'm not. I'm not upset about it. I think everything's lining up, and I think the UFC is cooperating in a, in an extremely, you know, hospitable fashion, welcoming me in. And I think that everything's just continuing to line up and, and build my my crescendo into the into the game and into the top of the title contention, just the way I need to. So. Does this feel like the more, kind of more of a real UFC debut, though? You have the full training camp. You're, you know, it's a little more build behind it as opposed to just coming on short notice, even though the opponent was highly ranked and everything last time. Yeah, you know, uh, the build doesn't feel any different. People put so much emphasis on the training camp, and to me, it's just another day in the office. I don't, I don't dwell any more than I would any other day of the month, and so things I do different might just add an extra sparring day in. I'll, I'll analyze him briefly, get an idea of the way he thinks more than anything, the way he acts and moves, but I'm not going to be over any day to, in my opponent or, or the the magnitude of this event just like I wasn't last time. I'm constantly at work. I'm like a month from sunup to sundown just training and, and being any day in the sport of my craft. So nothing really changed. What were you expecting coming off that last fight? I mean, did you feel the UFC was going to match you up a particular way? Is this kind of on the level of what you were thinking or how did it kind of go as opposed to your thoughts after getting that win? Um, you know, with that, I kind of expect a little bit more promotion. Yeah, but I'm not mad about that. And again, I'm not greedy or selfish with, with the promotion that I am getting. And, and I'm, I'm fortunate and blessed to be on this card. And so I just expect to put on another mind-boggling performance, shock the organization, shock the world, silence the naysayers again. And then, and then I expect to be heavily promoted more so thereafter. Do you think maybe that's why you're not being promoted too much? Like not to say the first fight was like a fluke or lucky or anything, but they just want to like, you know, see is this the real deal or like did he just have an amazing night something like that and you yeah, go sure. out there and you do it again and then maybe you get that that push i think the world's driven on followers social media and so something that i never really put too much attention into or really cared too heavily on in the past and and being from america too we're so we're so inundated with so many sports and options and things and so coming in without that advantage i think i need to build it inside the organization now, maybe even the hard way. And then I think as that continues to grow, and hopefully with their help and the promotion of everything, then that will build and yeah, we'll continue to get those big cards and the big big matches. And to get those people behind you, I mean, what fans I think still don't really know you too well. I mean, if you're sure. talking to the pe people that are watching these interviews and stuff, what should they know about you that maybe they don't at this point, besides you know the fact that you came and had an epic UFC debut? They're gonna know that I'm original, I'm a standout. And I said it before, you know, the UFC stacked with, with talent. There's talent in all divisions, especially the light weight division, but they're lacking in stars. And I'm going to prove them the next star through character, personality, diverging from the norm. They want something original, they want something real. That's me. What do you think of Olivier? I think he's a simple, benign guy. He's a friendly fellow, and I wish him well after Saturday. But until then, he's a piece of meat. He's my prey. Are and you as he fan? said it... Are you a fan of his Canadian gangster gimmick? Do you care? I'm indifferent about it. It means nothing to me. I'm not a fan, I'm not a hater, I just, he just does his thing and then I will do mine and mine will be superior to his. He's sort of goofy, you know, on stage when he, he brings yeah. people gifts and stuff like that. How, are, are you fine with that? Or I you think it's a well? compensation. It's insecurities and, and you're trying to forge these alliances, these, you know, pseudo friendships so that way you feel comfort before a fight or, or whatever you need to, to sleep peacefully. And I, I'm not going to sway that, I'm not going to buy into it, I'm not going to alleviate his tension and his fear of me. But I think it, I think it's a compensation for for being nervous, for being fearful. What kind of fighter are you preparing for? I mean, he came into MMA, you know, very grappling oriented. I think you know his first nine or so wins by submission. He comes out the last time, gets his first knockout against a veteran of the sport. Um, do you think he's turned a corner? Do you think that was just you know a night where his hands finally came together? How? What kind of fighter are you preparing for on Saturday? I think he's going to be pretty similar to Darius. Both very left-handed, heavy. Uh, Fortes and grappling, they like to push the pressure on, on against the cage. I think if he comes out and he's confident off of that last fight, then he will be rendered unconscious of my right hand pretty quickly. If he's feeling bashful that night and he resorts to his innate uh, 
grappling abilities and, and decides to take a desperate shot, then we'll let the fight unfoil there. But I think I'm just going to have my way with him, and, and he's going to feel the pressure pretty immediately, and those nerves will build, and he will start to act out of character, or even in character. Yeah. The comparison to Darius, does that give you even more confidence? Uh, you know, that I, I, think, knock I think Darius is more dangerous than, than Mercier is. I think Mercier is tenacious in his grappling. I, I respect it. I respect his... Uh, drive to get to the back and get that hip position, but I think Darius was a more dangerous fighter. Um, and, and now Mercier has the advantage of having an idea of something to expect, but I, I love it when people either need more footage or they're, they're saying, you know, there's not enough footage. I, you can look at anything in the world on me. I evolve so aggressively that you look at my last fight, I'm going to look completely different from, from March to now. He sort of said that he does think, like, he totally respects your power, but if he gets you out of the first round, like, mm -hmm. Are you expecting him to kind of try to make, keep the distance? And uh, I'm going to expect him to get caught and then immediately try to close the distance and, and, and play a grappling game, which I am very adept in. So I, I, would, I would love to take this fight anywhere it goes. I'm extraordinarily confident as to how it unfolds. Um, but I think, I think the biggest thing that he's expecting is for me to hit him hard and blow my load. And he's just going to try to weather the storm. Uh, that's, that's great. And you, I mean, you win this fight uh, in the fashion you want. You solidify yourself top 10, at worst top 15 lightweight. You look at a guy like Eddie Alvarez sitting over there, one of the greatest lightweights in history. Do you look at him as like someone you admire? Do you look at him as you know, a potential future opponent? How do you see these guys you know, in this room that are a lot more established in this you know, division right now? Both. I, I admire all these guys. You know, they're, they're what I grew up on. And so, you know, I, I admire the hell out of them. I respect everything they do. I respect, I respect every fighter in this organization or people that are just doing it. You know, it, it's, a, it's a dangerous, deadly, nerve-wracking thing to undergo, and it's probably the most difficult task an athlete can do. And so I think, I think highly about all these men, but I'm, I'm not fearful about anybody in the top 15. And truthfully, I think people on, on my, my end of the spectrum as far as newcomers, these new guys, these uh, the young blood coming in are far more dangerous than the men that are racked up on, on, the, on the rankings right now. So that's just generational? I mean, it's you guys... The game's evolving, and I, and I think that a lot of the people that are already on the rankings are, are stuck in the mud and stuck in their position. We already know who they are, what they're going to be, what they've accomplished, and what they're going to accomplish. Everybody else is, is an upcoming threat, and they're constantly evolving. They're hungry. They want it more. So none of these men fear me. Uh, I'm, I'm not fearful of any of these men, um, but I do admire them.